My name is Amaya Kai from the big city of Chicago, Illinois, and I just landed right here at the Fort Valley State University for my interview at Valley TV. Hope you all enjoy. So Amaya Kai, you're on Valley TV. For the first time, we're doing your 19 questions for your 19th birthday. To start it off good, how are you doing? I'm good. How about you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Glad to see you here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, no, thank you for showing up. So first, another question. Question number two, what brought you from Chicago to the South? Ultimately, what brought me to Fort Valley from Chicago was Fort Valley really showed themselves in terms of allowing whoever would be here, whether if it was in students, faculty and staff to take a chance on me. And now that I'm here, to be brutally honest, it still feels surreal that I'm in college. Mm -hmm. It doesn't even feel like I'm in college really at all. Yeah. But how are you how are you liking it so far? So far, I have to rate it on one through ten. Mm-hmm. Oh, now I'm making up the own part of the interview. Okay. <laughs> if I had to rate my Fort Valley experience from one to ten, I would give it a eight. Okay. okay. It's there, you know, some things can be improved and that's okay, whether if that's on a personal aspect, but yeah, it's a cool little place. Has there been any culture shock? <laughs> to be honest, it has been some culture shocks. Um, the amount of cows that I see a lot, <laughs> I was not expecting that. And the fact that I've never seen Fort Valley before, ever before coming here on moving day, it was very much of a culture shock to me because I've only heard of Atlanta, Georgia, mm -hmm. and knowing that Fort Valley, I was just like, is Fort Valley like a suburb or no, I didn't think I didn't think it was the country <laughs> now. <laughs> but yeah, Fort Valley is a nice little country place. And I do enjoy the quiet. At first it was very much of a culture shock because being from Chicago, there's always noise it's always something to do but with for valley we gonna have to talk about that later yeah <laughs> <laughs> but what's your favorite thing about georgia though my favorite thing about georgia is the weather the weather's mm -hmm. amazing i would trade it with chicago weather any day especially the winters i would like to see how y'all manage in snow i really would we don't know about snow for real we honestly and that's don't. okay <laughs> you'll learn about it one day Oh, goodness. So describe it. Describe Georgia in one word, if you could. Mm. So you're saying in the state of Georgia or just where I am now? Oh, where you are now. If I had to describe Fort Valley in one word, unpredictable. Mm, sounds about right. Sounds about <laughs> right. <laughs> What's your favorite food? Okay, uh, we had some technical difficulties, but we're back at it. We left off saying, what was your favorite food? Oh. Uh, it would have to be between shrimp and grits and shrimp alfredo. But the thing is with shrimp alfredo, sometimes I like to have spinach in my shrimp alfredo. It's very good. Okay, that's a mixture between Chicago, which is a shrimp alfredo, and you love a shrimp and grits because you're being in the South. Okay, next question. Um, <laughs> what was your favorite guest star on your podcast? <laughs> Um, so be honest, all of them, because I actually learn new things from my guests, whether if it's an online or an in-person interview. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's very important to connect with your guest on and off the screen. And most importantly, before, during and after the interview, shout out to one of the guest stars I had, Miss Jemaya Monet, aka The Poster Girl. She really kind of embraced me without even knowing her. And I really appreciate her for teaching me a lot. And so, yeah, and same thing with so much more, but those interviews will be released. So I can't tell much, but yeah. Now, while we're talking about the podcast and everything, mm -hmm. what encouraged you to start your podcast? Crazy thing is my senior African-American literary teacher, mm -hmm. Mr. Hazard, he actually inspired me because we actually had a discussion and he was like, you would be a really good person for a podcast. And shout out to my other friend Trinity as well from back home, who also encouraged me to do that as well, because she said that I'm very creative in terms of my writing. And I stuck with it ever since. And 
here we are almost the fourth month anniversary on my birthday which is the most craziest thing mm -hmm. but yeah i'm very grateful for the direction that god is bringing me to and i cannot wait to see you know what's next so what's the what's the process in making the show in terms of the process i am very deep in my faith with god and sometimes i do fall short mm -hmm. it's okay um when it comes to me and God, we kind of collaborate a lot on that. So sometimes I like to pray before every episode. Sometimes I like to plan out my episodes because I don't want to go out into, you know, recording my episodes or what I like to call them conversations. Yeah. Because it's not really just an episode on my show. It's more about the conversations about things that many people are either scared to talk about or we've never heard it being talk about from people that look like me or mm -hmm. talk like me and i feel it's very important to call those conversations because anybody can join in from any point of view and it's very important that we celebrate all point of views whether it fits from people that are like us or maybe not okay i just noticed you, i just noticed your shirt where'd you get that from that is a very nice shirt shout out to two world productions for making my custom jersey and of course we had to put people's princess on the front mm -hmm. and 27 on the front and the back as well with my first and my middle name on the back so if you're not shopping with Toot world productions then what you doing <laughs> <laughs> so you're turning you're turning 19 and everything yes. what was your favorite birthday if i had to dial down all of my <clears throat> favorite birthdays it would be 16 only because even though we were in a COVID year i really enjoyed you know the way my parents celebrated mm -hmm. my birthday they found so many different ways to celebrate me and i'm always grateful for you know the love that my parents and my family and all of my friends who were there at that time for yeah. me actually being able to celebrate me and you know make sure it felt like it was an actual birthday although we were in a crazy situation that yeah. i don't want to relive again oh very good <laughs> food covid was a very yeah scary it was time, but you know i've grown grown a lot that's how i kind of we we gonna say that story for another time mm -hmm. so what's your major my major is biology